The lush fields of India tell a story of transformation of a country once grappling with hunger and starvation to become a global leader in agricultural production. And at the heart of this tale is the Green Revolution, a scientific and technological revolution that sparked a wave of change and growth in India's agricultural sector. India has been leading the charge towards renewable energy with an upgraded target of 450 gigawatts by 2030 and significant involvement from big businesses. This has led to increased interest in green energy stocks. But did you know that the Green Revolution was also responsible for turning certain areas of India green in more ways than one? Here are some interesting facts about India's Green Revolution that you may not know. Green versus Renewable versus Clean Energy Green energy, renewable energy and clean energy all refer to energy derived from natural sources that are constantly renewed. This makes them different from non-renewable fossil fuels that take millions of years to form and emit harmless greenhouse gases. Transitioning from fossil fuels to green energy is extremely important in order to address the climate crisis. Achieving net zero carbon emission with green energy India aims to achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2070 with a target to reduce emissions by 45% by the year 2030. Green energy sources such as solar, wind and green hydrogen are expected to account for over 90% of the global electricity expansion in next five years. India plans to source energy from green resources for half of its power installed capacity by the year 2030. The power, industrial, automotive, aviation, agriculture and other sectors contribute to India's carbon emissions and green energy can help decarbonize these sectors. Building a green energy portfolio will be an expensive affair. According to a report by McKinsey, building a green energy portfolio in India will be expensive, requiring an estimated $7.2 trillion of green investments until 2050. The investment will be used for the procurement of land to meet requirements for solar, wind and green hydrogen capacities. Solar power is currently cheaper than green hydrogen with a 1 kilowatt rooftop solar system costing anywhere between 45,000 rupees and 85,000 rupees while green hydrogen is nearly 10 times more expensive to produce. The road to a clean and green transition is not smooth. The transition towards green energy in India has faced challenges due to the pandemic and global disruptions in energy and technology supply chains. The country also faces challenges such as the procurement of cheap solar equipment and uncertainties over grid infrastructure development. However, the government is taking steps to address these issues and is working towards expanding its green energy capacity. Policy reforms leading to green energy adaptation. This has been driven by effective policy reforms such as reverse auctions, lower corporate tax rates for developers and mandates for utilities to procure renewable power. The government has also invested in transmission infrastructure and support for solar parks to reduce the project development and land acquisition risks. The launch of a national hydrogen mission with an initial outlay of 197.4 billion rupees has put the green hydrogen at the forefront of India's green energy revolution. Great opportunity for the investors. Top players in the renewable energy industry in India include NTPC, which aims to add 4,000 megawatts of green energy capacity every year and runs a hydrogen pilot project in its Vidyanchal unit as well as IOC, the nation's largest fossil fuel retailer. 
Tata Power is also a front runner with a renewable power capacity of 2.6 gigawatts and plans to expand it to 15 gigawatts by 2025. Borosil Renewables, India's leading solar glass manufacturer, plans to increase production fivefold and Vepsol Energy, a leading manufacturer of photovoltaic monocrystalline solar cells and modules in India intends to more than sevenfold its existing capacity to remain one of the largest producers of solar cells in India. To sum it up, India has the opportunity to make this decade a game changer by accelerating decarbonization while pursuing economic growth. With a well-planned and orderly strategy, India can overcome the roadblocks and create long-term value for industries. It's time for India to seize this opportunity and embrace accelerated growth, setting an example for the world to follow. This decade will be decisive and India has the potential to lead the way towards a more sustainable future.